Hi everyone, welcome back to Vegan Me. My name is Wendy and thanks so much for joining me. I wanted to bring to you something that I received in the mail and it is a little kit from a company called Au Naturel. And I had never tried any of their products. They are an all vegan brand and I'm gonna look a little bit up on the web to tell you a little bit more about them and we're gonna open up this box together and we'll take a look and see what I got. So if you're interested in an all vegan makeup brand Au Naturel and what they have to offer us, stick with me. Don't forget to give this, a, this video a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos and comment down below because I'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe so you can see a whole lot more of these videos. All right, so let's get started. I encourage you always to do your own homework. Uh, regardless of what you see, <laughs> what me or anyone else says about a product, I think it's important for you to do your own homework and see whether or not, you know, it's for you. Their website is www.onatural.com and that's A-U, natural with an E on the end of it, dot com. A luxury professional grade cosmetic range. Cosmetics are handcrafted and batched in Green Bay, Wisconsin. They have pretty much the full gamut of cosmetics and they're a hundred percent pure, natural, natural, uh, gluten-free, vegan, non-toxic. So those are, those are really some awesome things to have um, when you're looking at cosmetics. And those that are gluten-free will be able to enjoy this just as much as those of us that are vegan. So let's get into this little black box. I was just blown away by this one, whoops, by, by this wonderful um, little set of goodies. And so this was sent to me. And I received a wonderful little card uh, that says, thank you so much. We can't wait to hear what you think. We hope you enjoy. Our best, Courtney. So that's what the little card looks like. This was all kind of wrapped in here with like this, with this little uh, sticker on it. So they have really nice branding. Um, all of their boxes, for instance, have their branding on them, which are really nice. They make cream eyeshadows, and of course, I am a cream eyeshadow hound, so really, really happy about that. And there's some little inserts in here as well um, that talk about their products. Uh, all right, so I believe this lipstick is from their spring collection. You can see that. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be really dark, like pink mauve. I would say, mauve, but really pretty um, on. No offensive odor. So it's a really pretty sheer lipstick. If you're looking for a really, really vibrant color, you might not get it from this lipstick, uh, but they also have uh, the lip cream. And this one is in Passion fruit. So I'll put that on over top as a doe foot applicator. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like fruit. And you know the interesting thing is once you get used to using natural products as lip products, it kind of grosses you out to use the other ones. This is just an observation of mine. Um, not that I have anything against, as long as it's vegan cosmetics, I'm, I'm not against or opposed to somebody using uh, synthetic things and all that other stuff. It's just that you, you become accustomed once you're using the natural things to, to having food grade products on your lips. Let's put it that way. All right, so that was the uh, lip gloss in Passion Fruit and the lipstick is in African Affair. And I really like them together. And the, lips, the lip gloss is not too sticky. It doesn't have any uh, like feeling of glitter on, but I think it's a really pretty color. Really happy with that. The other, let's see, two products that I have here. 
One of them I'd actually requested because I wanted to try it, and it is their powder concealer in flax. So what I really liked was they have a like a squared, you can see how the, the container is squared instead of just being a round container. I thought that was like classy, you know? I just thought that was really nice. And it has a little sifter inside. And so this is very banana powdery looking, basically. And that's what I was looking for. So I can show you basically what that looks like against the black cap. And I've found that this is a really nice, you can see it on my finger, this is a really nice powder. It's um, it's pretty full coverage. I was really, really pleasantly surprised by that. It is very full coverage. It's not sheer. Now you could put it on more sheer if you wanted to, but if you're like me and you have some serious things to cover up under your eyes, this is really nice. As a matter of fact, I might like, could use a little under the eye right now. Let's see if I can put a little of this on while we're here talking. Just to see if it brightens up the eye a little bit. I do believe it does. I'm just taking that little bit that was in the cap that I didn't use on my hand and I'm zhuzhing it around the brush around in it. And then I'm just kind of lightly patting it on. So I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but it does look good in the mirror. So I'm happy with that. Very happy. Real Techniques, love this brush. I need to get another one because I would like to be able to use one to buff uh, my concealer in. I have been using these It Cosmetics um, for for buffing in my concealer, but the but the actual surface area of the brush head is a little bit small. Um, so this is actually better for like zhuzhing on my, you know, my base coat of my, uh, like if I'm using a cream base coat on my eyes, is that these are better for that. Um, but to go under the eye with the, you know, to buff in the concealer, this is like the perfect brush. So highly recommend it if you don't have one of those. All right. And the last product is an, a cream eyeshadow. And then this is in the color Bliss. And you can see, it doesn't have a mirror. Um, you can see what that looks like. And you know, one of the hardest things to come by uh, when you get into the mineral or the natural products um, is cream products. I mean, they're really hard to find. I don't know if it's because they're complicated or what. That's what it looks like. And then it's a just oh, it's so pretty. I wore this yesterday. Yeah, you can see the the shine on that. Really, really pretty. Very pretty. Like it a lot. So those are my four products from All Natural. Basically, you're looking about eighteen to twenty two dollars uh, for each of the items. So that's that's I would say um, mid range to high end pricing. Um, definitely probably in the mid range. Uh, it's comparable to what you would pay for a lot of the other higher end organic and um, natural products. So not terribly, you know, ridiculously priced. Um, and for what you get and the way everything works, I think everything works fabulously like that. That uh, the under eye, um, the powder concealer, I think that is fabulous. It reminds me a lot of the of the bare minerals well rested only it has more coverage than that so that's my take on au naturel i recommend that you go take a look at their website to have any of these items and if you have anything you would recommend for me as well so take care bye bye